Hey guys, it's Kugel again with another ROM review and uh, this time I've got a special ROM. It's called Biftor Slim. So it's actually based on the Slim ROM uh, repositories and this one has a lot of extra frameworks which makes it unique. So let's get into the ROM now. First of all, what you would see here is the standard lock screen. As I've said, it is based on the Slim ROM so you can see the Slim uh, style things. Um, it does have a lot of options. It, it actually has all, all the options from Slim ROM. So you can see the uh, DPI setting is 240, 245 to be exact. So you need to change that if you want something else with another app or uh, do a build.prop tweak. So first thing is that the launcher is Nova launcher. So it's basically a, the Slim ROM uh, thing so you do have this nova launcher you can see in the settings you can see that it does have all the slim options so i'm not get, gonna get too much into the slim options because there are extra options which is specific to the biftor rom so let's get into the about phone page you can see it is uh, 4.4.2 and uh, things like that um it is biftor so you can see it is uh, version 6.0 so that's the latest version of Biftor it uses the latest version of Slim ROM for the base so yeah that's the stuff which is available in the settings menu what I want to concentrate is the uh, Biftor ROM control which is an extra setting which has a lot and I mean it a lot of extra options you can see all of these let's get into the general UI options now Biftor ROM control this is basically for personalization it has a lot of color option you can change the color scheme you can change the uh, colors on letters etc etc so that is what this ROM is for so if you like the slim ROM uh, things the minimalist approach of slim ROM the stable uh, stability of slim ROM and you want a bit more uh, customization from the personalization point of view you can use this one so that's really cool now in the general UI you can see clock and date option uh, basic options you can have but what I did see is that you do have a left clock option also so that's really cool um, you can uh, enable click actions for it so you can have header uh, clock short click action long click action short click a date short click action uh, date long click action so you have a lot of options you can enable the date from the other settings the slim rom settings so that's uh, important uh, in the other options you can see uh, it does have status bar signal options so you can have you can change the location of the status bar signal you can have it left you can have it right you can have it wherever you want so you can even hide it you can also select the number of bars which is shown right now it's six you can change it to something some odd number or shit um, right now it's just re restarting the UI now it's four uh, it was actually six it's still displaying six but the status bar number bar number is uh, four so you can have that rotate signal icon so you can even just flip it around you can see it's flipped now so you can have that it's as I said it's more personalization options rather than functional options uh, but uh, status bar battery you can have battery location left right wherever so you can just flip everything to the left side if you want to have something crazy so you can have that quick launch shortcuts now this one is different from the QS that is quick settings uh, you can enable these and you can select up to um, 20 quick launch shortcuts as I've done right now you, you can see I've enabled calculator and this is actually Bluetooth icon but um, the icon is showing off settings uh, when you click when I click that it will show up Bluetooth so you can actually have a lot of options there so that's really cool you can add from add different application different shortcuts different uh, actions slim actions etc etc you have a lot of options there um, let's go to the next one show or hide you can in, uh, show or hide the status bar icons which appear from time to time you can show or hide the alarm icon bluetooth icon or the volume icon so that is really cool you can just have these fixed icons if you want to so that's really cool color control you can select colors of everything so general ui colors you can select any of these colors you can customize it customize the hell out of it you can uh let me show you guys something um i'll go for red because red uh, is quite seeable so yeah let's go for everything red so that you can see what all are usable you can see everything is going to 
going red you can even change the airplane icon to whatever you want you have a lot of options here uh, tile colors you can select the tiles colors to whatever you want so that is really cool you can see the tile colors are now red you can change it you can customize it to a hell of a degree it does have the necessary frameworks required for that that's why this works the biftor uh, rom control app is actually available as a standalone app you can download it and use it i'm not sure if it will work with any other rom but it does work with the biftor rom so yeah uh, drop down colors you can change that you can change everything you can change a lot of things in here so that's really really cool wallpaper colors I'm, I'm not sure why I would change the wallpaper colors or whatever uh, notification panel colors so you can uh, recent panel colors so you can have different style of notification panel now this one is actually the slim rom style uh, notification the wallpaper is a custom one I'll show you guys how to do that it's also the a feature of this rom this rom control option so you can have that you can have everything change you can have a lot of options in there you can see it's red now uh, so yeah it just it uh, changed the normal thing so yeah you have a lot of options that's what I'm trying to say now let's go into the phone theme color so you can you can change the phone colors all in in one okay you can change a lot of these also just read it i cannot take too much time to explain all of this because you have an unlimited kind of an unlimited amount of customization on colors on text on um, the screens which appear you have a lot of options there you can change enable slider color you can just change the slider color you can do a lot of stuff in this so that's really cool so yeah that's something which I want to talk show you guys now in the other ones text control you can change the custom custom phone header so this is pretty cool you can also change custom app phone header so that's really cool you can uh, enable or disable whatever you want so you can have that that's really cool um, you can change that etc it's it, it has kind of intricate settings you need to uh, spend some time with the uh, this setting to really understand it. So yeah now wallpaper picker now This one is really cool. This is what I have used for this one You can you can select any kind of wallpaper with an image you can select there and pick image you pick whatever image you want and you will have Wallpaper wherever you want you can select these I'm not going to show you guys because I do have a lot of personal uh, Pictures in here. So yeah uh, You can select wherever the wallpaper appears you can disable wherever you don't want it to appear like um, Well, I I don't really like this one to be here So I will just disable the notification header option, but I will keep enabled everything else so I can have the wallpaper here wallpaper everywhere else uh, whenever there is a clear screen I can have a wallpaper there so you can have a lot of options there LCD density doesn't seem to work uh, the stock one is 245 I've select I've tried selecting it to 320 it doesn't work so yeah you may have to go for any other option wipe option so if you are thinking of wiping your phone you don't need necessarily need to go to the um, recovery menu for that you can just select it here and do wipe it will go to the recovery but it'll wipe for you so that's really cool wipe the settings if you want to wipe the settings that's pretty neat backup and restore if you have your um, perfect settings set up you can you just need to back up this uh, the settings and yeah you can restore it after a ROM update or something like that if you have needed to just reflash the ROM for some or the other reason you can have that so that's really cool uh, in the about phone page you can read about the uh, different releases available so Biftor Slimcat ROM uh, Biftor Slimcat for S3 is what we want you can have that so that's really great so yeah apart from that setting all the other things are basically slim rom so you have a lot of options the camera is probably the best the battery is also probably the best in a kitkat rom so it does have a lot of things going for it you can see the uh, phone option is working out it's really cool uh, the camera as i've said is probably one of the best cameras available for uh, kitkat rom so you have a lot of options there um, you can see it does have a lot so that's really cool so I guess that much is it about the ROM. It was uh, just these settings because it's the special thing about the ROM. So I hope you guys like the video. Please share, subscribe and like the video if you found it useful. See you guys next time. Bye.